My name is George Wong and what I do is I coach conscious entrepreneurs who want to take their businesses to a greater level of freedom for themselves, for themselves and for their clients and to make a deeper, more impactful contribution to the people they serve and in turn to be more prosperous and profitable. I used to be a board certified plastic surgeon and I trained for 15 years to become a plastic surgeon. I actually decided to become a plastic surgeon when I was 17. I just didn't have a calculator at the time and didn't know I was going to take 15 years to do it. But once I became a plastic surgeon after four years of college, four years of medical school and seven years of surgical training, I started out in practice and within two years I was nearly bankrupt. In fact, my professional advisors were recommending that I declare bankruptcy. So here I was with my dream job after all these years of training and I couldn't believe that I was in this situation. It was quite depressing. So I fired all my advisors because that was bad advice and I went out and started learning what I needed to learn about being in business, marketing, hiring, running systems in the practice, and how to integrate everything that's necessary to be successful in business. The good news is I didn't declare bankruptcy. I turned the practice around. I did sell the practice and practice for a few more years. And then I got out. I retired when I was 40 because I was in the operating room one, operating room one day doing my favorite procedure, a tummy tuck, and I realized that I was not making the big difference, the deep difference that I thought I would make when I decided to become a plastic surgeon. So I left the field and had learned so much about entrepreneurship through my own survival in business that I started coaching others. I was part of a business, a book called Create the Business Breakthrough You Want and a couple of companies found out about this book and asked if I could coach them. And I had so much fun doing it, I realized I could do this as a profession. So within two, or sorry, within 73 days of me doing my first workshop to promote my business, I had created, created a six-figure annualized revenue stream. So for me, one of the inspirations was a person named Maxwell Maltz who wrote the book Cyber, Psycho-Cybernetics. And he wrote this book, I believe in the 40s or 50s, He's some, in some circles known as the father of modern day transformation. Most people don't realize he's a plastic surgeon. And what he learned from his patients is what's on the inside that shows up on the outside. For me, it's going to, I, I build on my experience as a plastic surgeon and I take that to the business world because in order for things to change in the business world, we must first change from the inside. So I've learned a lot from my clients in terms of what they're really committed to. What's common about my clients is that they have big hearts and they have big visions, the visions that are bigger than themselves. And they have a ton of guts to go with it. And what I've learned from them is the courage that it takes to go out and put themselves out there every day and do the work that they do and serve the people that they do because this is their purpose, this is their mission in life. My mission is to help elevate the consciousness of humanity through the business world so that we consciously and intentionally lead ourselves to higher levels of, of awareness, of connection, of collaboration so that we ultimately contribute to the emerging economy that is more prosperous and that actually serves all of us as spiritual beings as physical, mental, and emotional beings. I'm a lot more happy than when I was practicing. I have a degree of freedom that I did not have when I was practicing as a plastic surgeon. At one point in my practice, my wife said, you know, if you keep going like this, you're gonna die an early death. And she was right on. Because I was not fully expressing myself. I was not fully expressing my spirit, my energy, in ways that I knew that was possible. In the medical field, I'm not, I don't have anything against cosmetic surgery or, or reconstructive surgery. There is a, a, an appropriate place for it. It just was not the appropriate place for me. And now that I have this freedom to express who I really am, I get to share that with others and help others to bring that out for themselves so that they can touch more people's lives. I get to touch people's lives that I will not ever know because of the work that I do. And for me, that's, that's what I'm here for. I believe that in our economy today, we, as Einstein said, we will not solve the problems with the same minds that created it. And so what it's going to take to move forward is a, 
a different level of consciousness that we bring to leadership. I call this conscious leaderpreneurship. And it's incumbent upon us as entrepreneurs to step it up, to take full responsibility for who we are being in the world, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, and unleash that unto the world so that we shine our brilliance into the dark corners of the world and we can do it through our business and we can bring that globally. Shine on.